Hello, welcome back. DJ Vic Draper with you, continuing on with the Bitwig Studio Samplers course. And in this tutorial, I want to take a look at voicing and using voices as modulation sources within the sample and some unique ways to manipulate that. So, of course, we can look at it closely here in our inspector. So right under voice count, you can see maximum voices 24, defaults at voices per note is 1, and then playable notes is 24. But if I go here and I move up to two voices per note, you can see that playable notes now become 12, and then 3, 8, and that's just dividing down because there's basically two notes per voice. Or Anyhow, it's dividing itself. You guys can see that. But just pay attention to how many playable notes are available to you once you go up in the voices there. Or you can select along this line here what number of voices you want as well. So I've got this little sample right here. And let's see what kind of fun we can have with it. So we will go up to, let's go up to two voices. And without doing anything, just let you hear the difference now. Might have got a little bit louder for you. And a little bit more chorusy if you're, you're able to hear that. If you're listening on a laptop, it might not be as apparent. But if you're listening to the video on your studio monitors, you can probably hear what I'm talking about. But I'm going to go up to three voices. All right, so on voice one, I'm going to select stack voice one. Select that. And let's treat it with a little bit of offset pitch. And then on voice two, I'm going to pitch it the other way just a little bit. And let's take a listen to that. Pretty cool. All right, so voice three, let's play with the playhead a little bit. And also, let's move the attack on voice three. And we'll go back to voice one. And I'll adjust the release on that guy. And let's put some filter action involved here. And it should be good for voice one. So now let's hear what we've done to the loop. Pretty cool stuff. So you can begin to see real quick how you can manipulate things just by using the voices. I'm still playing. If you open up the MIDI clip here, it's still just one note. It's just a C3 note, one long note. But we're getting three voices out of it, and we're getting the modulation available per those voices. I'm going to go up here to loop, and let's go back to voice two, and let's mess around with the loop length. So completely change the whole sound and arrangement of that loop by using one note and stacking voices. So that's a quick look at voices and using voices as uh, modulation sources. Uh, within the Bitwig sampler.